you know, they, they're like, oh, oh poor me, you know, the whole, the government's out to get me, the, you know, the, 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 like all the, like my parents are just, they don't like me, they won't even, my parents won't even let me visit them, and like all this money bitch stuff. <laughs> we all have that. Are y'all putting fun in this budget right now? Did you find yourself in it? We laughed at it. What were you whining bitch about? Who laughed? Let me see. You laughed? What, what were you whining bitch about? Oh, I'm always whining. Oh, yeah, that's true. Let's do it up first. See, that's how she's always whining. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she does great. She really, she's really got that one mastered. So, uh, uh, who else laughed? You, you did? Oh yeah, oh god, oh yeah, so Chris, well, she had that one master too. She had money bitch master. Chris has stepped out of it now. She doesn't it doesn't have her anymore. She can still she can still pull off if she wants to, but she 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 knows she's doing it. She's watching it. She's like, I'm a fucking money bitch right here. Here we go. She she has, doesn't have her. Yeah, she has money bitch, she doesn't have her anymore. That's fine, that's great. I mean it's fine to let it have you, but then you're lost. Uh, can we get a microphone over here? Could you tell us your name, sir? Hi, my name's Jared. Hey, hey, Jared. 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 Jerry. 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 I have some questions. Give one for right now. Okay. Write, write those down and we'll, we'll come back to them. So one question. Go ahead. It requires more than one. I can write down one. Uh, how many do you need? It's kind of a run on because Oh, it's shit. Okay. <laughs> write it down. Uh, bring it up. Yeah, bring it up later. They write, yeah, like that's a... Uh, that feels like a, a chat or something to take us somewhere out to confusion land, confusion bill. So just feel like feel into it, keep it, and uh, uh, allow it to do like because it's going to start doing work in you as you let it just grow inside of you. The what you're gonna, the answers are going to start coming up as we go along. So just let that be inside of you. Uh, everything that we want and don't have is on the other side of of our comfort zone. So. The more we can allow ourselves to be uncomfortable while we're here is and, and be okay with the discomfort is the more that you're gonna get out of this. So let's give it up. Let's give it up for Jared. Jared. Great job, thank you. Alright, so but right now we're so level two is goal oriented. This is where you set the goals, like not thy will but mine be done, right? That's where a lot of people are like, I'm I can willpower into existence. And you know, you can force whatever you, you want to force and, and it and it'll bow down to you. But what good is it to gain the whole world and lose your soul? So that's what level two is all about, is gaining the world and losing your soul. Uh, gaining the world at the cost of your soul. But that's all right. It's part of the journey. you got to go through that. Because what it is, it's like you're, you're building up your ego at that point. Like in level one, you got this big-ass ego, but it's like a deflated balloon. Level two is you blow the balloon up and let it get as big as it can possibly get. Level three is when you pop the balloon. So you can't pop it right down here. Level one, you can keep poking it, but it doesn't pop. You gotta blow it up before it'll pop. So in this journey, let your ego get all blown up. Let, let it happen. Let, let, you, let yourself get pride come up before a fall. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing because what like, you know, my I'm a proud parent of an honor roll student. Proud parent, that's a good thing, right? Well, it is a good thing for most people because most people are in shame and guilt and apathy and fear. So pride is a really good thing. And it comes before a fall. It's the last step before you go to the neutrality and into courage. So it's a really great thing to go ahead and get prideful, build yourself up, and then let yourself get smashed so you can finally step into level three, which is what we're about to do right now. We're going into level three, and level three is letting go of what you think that you know. Go ahead and build it all up and test it all out. Go experiment for a while. And then when you're done and realize there's nothing out there, then either by chance or by choice, at some point you're going to get to level three. Humanity is moving into level three right now. Most are doing it by chance. Some are doing it by choice. But the ones that are doing it by choice probably already went through level two and their balloons got popped. And they're like, well, that. Either the balloons got popped before they went far enough that they're like, this is just void. It's a void. Like Michael Jackson and, and Whitney Houston and Robin Williams, they went as far as you can go down level two. And it, it, it's like, it just their balloon just kept growing and growing and growing and it never popped. And they're like, I can't blow my balloon up any bigger and I'm still miserable, so I lost hope. Because they thought their hope was in getting a big enough balloon. But the hope is actually letting the moon pop. Because that's when you get to level three, which is where humanity's headed right now, which is level one, you live in the past, which creates depression. Level two, you live in the future, which creates anxiety. Level three, guess where you live? 
in the present, which reveals peace. That's a great peace. It reveals it, but it's already there. So every moment is a gift from God, even the moments that you don't like, especially the moments you don't like. This present moment, the reason it's called the present is why? Yes, yeah, it's a gift. It's a present. But if you don't go deep enough because you're afraid of it, because you're resisting it, you numb yourself to it, or you run into the, the future with anxiety or the past with depression, you're never going to get the gift. So no matter what the moment has, if you go deeper, it's a gift. Now, on the surface, you're not going to like it because nothing is what it appears to be. The moment that you resist the most is the greatest gift to you. And I'm going to share with you in just a moment. I'm going to tell you my story on how I, how I found this key to the kingdom. So uh, we're, we're, we're starting here. We're starting level three so we can let go of everything that we, we, we think we know because this is the beginning of death. We're starting the death journey right now. Uh, that's what this is. This is when, you, when who you thought you were dies. And then level four is when you resurrect. Level five is the full-on resurrection, but level four is when it starts to come, come back to life. You start to actually take your identity and how you have your identity. Like in level two, people think that they have their identity, but they don't have it. The world still has it. The world is saying, you need, you need your fur, fur minks or whatever, and your votes and your, all these things, and then you're going to get it, thinking that you're, that you're the one in control, but really you've just gotten played. Because what you preferred wasn't what you preferred, it's what you were programmed to prefer so that you could be a, a, a slave to this system that you didn't even know that you were participating in. You thought you were winning, but no, you were actually being played, you were being used to perpetuate death, to perpetuate fear, to perpetuate not enoughness. So once that all dies, then you step into level three and realize, hey, happiness is in, inside a job. What I've been searching for, it's been here the whole time. But I left the present, chasing the future, which is a figment of imagination. And then when I can't get there fast enough, then I go in the past and get all depressed, which the past is an illusion. So we're torn between these two worlds that don't exist. All that there is is now. In time, there is no now. Because the moment that you talk about right now, you already missed it. It's already gone. In eternity, there is no past or future. And so what you're going to experience over this weekend is you're going to trade in time for eternity. You're going to trade in more moments for deeper moments, for eternal moments. You're going to go all the way. If you choose. You don't have to. But what a beautiful opportunity to give up nothing for everything. Because time is nothing. Eternity is everything. So uh, here's so as we're going through this, this you've got a roadmap. But a roadmap doesn't help if you don't know which way north it is. You have a map, but you're like, am I going? Am I going the right direction? I don't know. So you have to have, you have to know which way north is. You have to have a compass in order to do that. So our compass, as we go through this journey, the compass is responsibility. The degree in which you're awake is the degree in which you're responsible for your reality. How am 